So how often do you get your feet done? <laughs> Forget you. It's been a long time. I've been busy. <laughs> You've been busy? I've been busy. How, how, so it's not very high on your priorities list. Is that what it you're is. I just haven't had time. Yeah, They're okay. always done. I just haven't had the time. You haven't had time to get your feet done? No. Okay. I'm a busy woman. Okay. I mean... Maintenance is important. Maintenance is important. It ain't like I got calluses under my feet or something. Can you prove it? I can prove it. There's no calluses. I am the light. L-Y-T-E. I am the light. L-Y-T-E. Alright, I'm ready when you are. Yo, it's your girl, Kay Swain. And I'm going to give you an interview a little bit about myself. When should we begin? Alright, we don't have to say we're doing an interview. They can see we're doing an interview. Thomasville, Georgia. I lived there for maybe 18 years before I decided to go to college. And after college, I graduated and came to Atlanta to pursue my dream of music. I've been here for a year and it's been pretty cool. I've been meeting a lot of people, networking, and my dreams are coming true. All right, for people who don't know exactly, you say you're from Thomasville. Where exactly is that at? Zarausta and the border of Tallahassee, Florida. What is it like there? Um, it's, it's a pretty quiet town. Um, it's like a retirement place, but it's it's a cool place. But there's a lot of. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Lots to do. I mean, we're bordered between Tallahassee. You can go to Tallahassee. Panama City is not too far. It's becoming a party town now, but it's still a pretty neat, neat town. Everybody's one, so it's like we're an army. We all support each other, and we're gonna play two tonight. I used to have a heart until it hit me, hit me. Who made it in this industry without making no enemies? Yeah. Um, basically, an artist coming from nothing, really a struggle. And since I didn't have the resources to really get out there like I wanted to and really be well-rounded, I decided to critique myself and work on my own strategy to make it into music and I can just be free and be who I want to be without answering to anybody else or doing it the way they want me to do my music. Oh, I know I wanted to be a rapper when I was... 14 and my cousins introduced me to one of their friends. They had a boy group and they had a track open and they asked me could I rap? And at the time I was just singing and I was like, okay, let me work on it. So I worked on it and they liked it and I ended up rapping more than I sing and people like it. So you're like a singer turned rapper like T-Pain? <laughs> um, not really. Nobody really knew I could sing itself for like church friends, church members. So I came out rapping. Some people really don't know I can sing, sing like that. So, so can you sing, sing like that? Yes, I can. <laughs> What's the first rap you ever memorized? From anybody? Or From me? anybody. God, I know so many. Da ha, da ha, I never thought a real pop would take a big spot. Now I'm in the limelight cause I rock like time to get paid for up like the World Trade, born center. Someone, whatever. <laughs> if I wasn't doing music, I would be in school working on my master's in industrial psychology. Um. I think it's pretty cool to give somebody a person to listen to. Like, I want to be the person people can talk to and I listen. Like, I want them to just know that I'm here and I understand. Because most people don't have people to talk to or they don't feel comfortable talking to people. So, that's probably what I'd be doing. Or it would be child psychology. Because kids need a lot of help and I knew I needed a lot of help. So, those two things would be... 
the things I would be doing. Like, take us through your uh, creative process. Like, my creative process. If it's like writing, do you like to go in the booth? Do you like to write to pre-write your songs, or do you like to go in the booth here, track, then come up with it? Um, if I can get the track and be in a track and then. The studio, and I can just come up with something. I'd rather do it that way because it's more like I'm there with the track. But if I have to take it home, then I'll take it and write to it, and I'll bring it back to where I'm more my delivery. I'm more comfortable if I write it and then it goes to the booth. But either way, it's fine. Are you like a person that you like really like study as artists or or like a more of just like a. Hmm. Do you just want to have fun? Like, girls just want to have fun? Or? I think I'm a little bit of both. Because some days I can just really want to write down how I feel. And then other days I just want to write about, like, anything, anything crazy or, I don't know, like some pop music. I just want to have fun. People like to be in the club having fun. They don't want to hear conscious music all the time. But I also can do conscious music for people that, like I said, go on through things. You know? And let them know that you can relate and that you're human. Like, rapper, like, can the average guy listen to you or are you like? Well, sure, of course. The average guy can listen to me. I talk about, everybody talks about money. I talk about money and being down for my men and taking care of my men. And I mean, all the gutter, gutter things that a man would like. I'm pretty you spell sure. gutter? What is it? <laughs> G U T T A, gutter. Or you can put G U T T A H. Whatever way, it's gutter. Like men like that. So, I mean, yeah, they can listen to it. I have a couple of friends that they might email me or text me and tell me they like a song. So, I know guys listen to it and they approve. So, it's down. They listen to it. I, I admire Eminem's well because it's kind of complex. And I want to kind of switch it up and kind of make it rhyme in different spots. And he's just that type of rapper that's really good with it. So I kind of study his rock. Who's your dream uh, collaboration? Like, it could be one person. My dream collab, Rihanna. That's my dream collab. <laughs> yes, I write a lot of pop type songs and I think she would like. So whatever you at, I got them for you. Like, I really don't like, yeah. She can sing and I can rap. It'll work out. If I said I like to lay in the bed. In the I hate makeup. Don't judge me. Like, I don't like makeup. But I would wear it. But if I could just go without makeup, my choice would be to go without makeup. Um, I can spend my whole Saturday in bed until like 11 o'clock that night. Don't judge me. Like 11 o'clock is when I get ready to go out. <laughs> um, and I like to watch cartoons. Don't judge me though. I like cartoons. What's your favorite cartoon? My favorite cartoon right now is Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> Phineas and Ferb. You don't think it's a cool cartoon? I've never seen it. Really? You got Phineas. 